Hey film fans, my name is David. This is Film Collector Archive and today we are talking the Arrow Video Blu-ray box set release of Gothic Fantastico for Italian Tales of Terror. I did not have a big uh, Pulse on this set coming from Arrow Video. It was one that I kind of read up on after the fact of the uh, release coming from Arrow Video and really happy that I brought this one into the collection. This seems right up my alley. I love, or I, I should say, well, I, I do love Gothic film, but it's something that I'm getting more and more into. And uh, for Italian black and white Gothic films, it seems like something I would definitely enjoy. So I'm going in blind on this one, but I am very confident in my purchase here. And I love the presentation as always from Arrow Video on uh, what they're giving us here. So <clears throat> we have a four film collection here, including Lady Morgan's Vengeance, The Blancheville Monster, The Third Eye, and The Witch. And what I'd like to do is switch over to the overhead camera so that we can take a deeper look, kind of dive in on the contents of this box set uh, so that you can be more informed on whether or not this is a purchase that you'd like to make for your personal collection. So let's go ahead and switch over to that camera now. Okay, here is our beautiful box set here from Arrow Video for Gothic Fantastico for Italian Tales of Terror. Let's go ahead and and uh, rip right into this and give you a tour around the uh, box here. Okay, just put that to the side. So what I'll do first actually is just take off the, uh, take off the J card, which I do not ever keep. Um, if you want to pause, you can go ahead and do so there and uh, take a look at the kind of the introduction here to the box set as well as the limited edition contents and then uh, stats here on each of the films. Um, so not a long runtime on any of these. The last film there, the, the Witch, is 110 minutes but 80 some odd minutes on the other three. So um, not, not a huge amount of runtime there, uh, which... I think is generally pretty great if you're asking me, but yeah, lots of great uh, contents there. We'll set that aside and let's take a look more here at this artwork. Um, I love this. So we get kind of a shot from each of the four films. Um, love the uh, type, the font here that they have. Looking to the spine, again, really fantastic. I love how, um, you know, the art uh, direction, the style here of this release, really, really great. And artwork does uh, continue here on the back of uh, some sort of uh, cemetery graveyard there. And here are the contents of the uh, inside. So let's go ahead and uh, set our beautiful box there aside and let's get into the uh, box contents here. So first up we have Lady Morgan's Vengeance. Um, and I assume, yeah, we'll have the original artwork available as well. Here is uh, a uh, advertisement here for Arrow Video, um, arrowplayer.com. And then here we have a uh, poster for an upcoming release, Il Grande Racket. Um, so another, looks like another Italian film here. I mean, honestly, Arrow Video, keep the Italian films coming. I, I'm loving uh, what Arrow Video is doing with, uh, with the Italian films. Okay, so we have the disc art here, which is really great. And then we do have the original art, which I'm going to go ahead and uh, flip these over. I, not that I don't like the uh, newly commissioned art. I love the artwork on the outside of the, the actual box, uh, the box set you know, for the whole release here. Um, but with the films, I do generally prefer the original art. So I'll probably flip that on uh, each of these, but that is obviously up to you. There's the 
uh, the back if you want to read over that. And then we'll put the uh, advertisement there for Il Grande Racket. The big racket. Um, okay, so next up we have the Blancheville Monster. There's the back on that one if you want to pause. The uh, disc art, and I, I love the disc art on these here. And then here's our reversible artwork. Let's definitely pull that out. Um, again, just absolutely love this original art. Really cool, kind of a minimalist there. I like the, the design there. And uh, you see here the name of the um, of the film. So we have the Blancheville monster, and uh, much different here on this reversible cover. The original Edgar Allan Poe in, uh, and the film is titled Horror here. So that's very interesting. I look forward to doing research on uh, these films. And I'm sure in the booklet included here, there's going to be some of that info and then of course on the special features but um, there is that one next up we have the third eye there's the back on that if you want to pause and take a look you can all right and there is the wonderful disc art and then our uh, reversible art il terzo ocio ocio And obviously original art on these films is, you know, we're going to have some Italian here. Um, really great artwork there as well. All right, and last but not least here, we have The Witch. There's the back on that again. If you want to pause and read over that, you can. There is... Whoops, put that further down in frame there. There is the artwork on the disc. And then let's go ahead and flip this over to the original art. All right, so there's the original, La Strega in Amor, Amore. Okay, so that is uh, the films and the reversible art. And uh, next up, actually, let's take a look at the poster here first. So we have four films. Um, obviously, we're not going to have art for four. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, four posters, but we do get uh, two of them here. And actually, my... Probably my favorite is the one here, so that's cool. We get the poster on uh, horror, apparently adapted from an Edgar Allan Poe uh, piece, which is obviously neat. So that's the poster. And then last but not least, we get the uh, Perfect Bound book here, matching the art minus the uh, title, of course, but matching the art there on the cover of the box set. Um, really cool artwork on the back there too, actually, and then the Arrow logo. Let's uh, flip through this. So here we have the contents. We get a nice uh, amount of uh, essays and notes about the restoration. This is going to be very quick. Just uh, give you a good idea. Very dense text, which is great. Um, I really love, uh, I love gothic films. I love the whole aesthetic of gothic cinema and a dark and stormy night. That whole type of setting I think is just the best. Um, I will be watching each of these films very soon. All right, production credits and special thanks. So really great. Uh, 
booklet there. So let's just go ahead and put everything back in. Um, so four films, a poster, extra features, a booklet, jam-packed with essays. Really can't go wrong. So there's the uh, side with the new, you know, flip to the original art. So all white except for uh, the second film there, Horror, the Edgar Allan Poe um, piece. But yeah, really wonderful looking set here from Arrow Video for Gothic Fantastico for Italian Tales of Terror. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel today and watching this video. I hope that you found that helpful. I try and make these as uh, much in depth as possible to again, really inform you on a purchase. Um, I think what Aero Video has produced here is really exceptional. Um, so it definitely, without obviously having seen the films yet, but just the presentation of the box set here definitely gets the uh, thumbs up from Film Collector Archive. Um, but let me know in the comments whether or not you've seen these films. Did you pick up this set as well? Definitely let me know and let's continue that conversation down below. If you are new to this channel and you like talking film, film collecting, that type of thing, I do invite you to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and also the bell icon that will notify you when I upload new videos in the future. And until next time, I hope you're able to watch a lot of great films.